I'm gonna beat your time. <laughs> Take that in the knee, Jake. Tweeted this morning. Uh, hey, I got I got something really embarrassing for Logan and Jake coming out later uh, on my social media. So watch for that. Oh, but really? I did predict on. <laughs> I did, dude. You guys are gonna love it. It's so good. Wait, I, it's uh, like you're trying to buy previously, um, and I'm gonna release it on social media later today. <laughs> Um, so you, you guys are really, you guys are really going to enjoy this. Um, oh. but I predicted a seventh round TKO. You know, one of the things I wasn't blessed with, I wasn't blessed with explosive power. Um, I'm more of a slow twitch type of guy. So my, here, here's my thing. I, I'm going to hit him a whole bunch. Um, he is not going to understand what it's like to be in a fight and he is going to turn into a cowardly little boy and probably the seventh round after an accumulation of strikes, he's going to say, I'm gonna, I want to go back to Disney Channel. I want to go back to being a Disney Channel kid star. I don't want to be a fighter anymore. I am done with this. I'm going back to be a Disney kid star. Back to work, baby. Jake, by the time I'm done with you, you're gonna wish that soy boy Dylan Dana signed the contract. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Yes. about boxing I, i'm getting these comments where people are saying uh you know it would be me lowering my level to fight jake paul or like why would i degrade myself like that i don't i don't understand for the life of me why you guys see it that way okay and here's why listen when i was in high school i don't know what you guys did for high school and not every friday but once in a while on friday night me and the boys we get together we go down to my basement we had some boxing gloves and we would just match up. You box you, you box you, you box you. That sounded like a fun, fun Friday night to me. And I actually have some very fond memories of that, some very funny memories, and I'm sure my friends would tell you guys the exact same thing. And so now you're telling me you're going to pay me a whole bunch of money to beat up some YouTube star. Uh, I don't know. That sounds like I have a great life. I don't understand why anyone's saying, like, that's degrading. I don't get it. I don't understand for the life of me why that would be the case. Okay, sounds like a great time. If they're gonna pay me a whole bunch of money to beat up Jake Paul, 
I'm okay with getting a whole bunch of money to beat up Jake Paul. I really, really, really don't see the problem there. Okay, that's all I got. Bitcoin boxing. I'm going to hang out with my wonderful wife. And I hope you guys have a great day. All you haters and losers, I hope you have a great day also. Yes, Mr. Jake Paul, I do accept. I know you called me out after you last fight against that bum Nate Robinson. And listen, it's a pretty simple choice. I'm going to make a whole bunch of money to beat up a guy who is pretending to be an athlete. Because at the end of the day, that's, that's what you're doing. And I know you may think, I do not have too many stamp skills. But also at the end of the day, I don't really need to. Okay? I'm a world-class athlete. I've won NCAA titles. I've been in the Olympics. I've won belts in multiple mixed martial arts organizations. And quite frankly, I am impressed that you've you deluded yourself into thinking you are actually a fighter. That you are really tough. That you can really box. It's quite impressive that beating up another YouTuber... And beating up a boxer who looked like he'd never been in the ring before makes you somehow good at boxing. Because it doesn't. So yes, Jake, I accept. I will see you March 28th in Los Angeles. And I will humble you like millions of people. Yes, Mr. Jake Paul, I do accept. I know you called me out after you last fight against that bum Nate Robinson. And listen, it's a pretty simple choice. I'm going to make a whole bunch of money. To beat up a guy who is pretending to be an athlete. Because at the end of the day, that's, that's what you're doing. And I know you may think, I do not have too many stamp skills. But also at the end of the day, I don't really need to. Okay? I'm a world-class athlete. I've won NCAA titles. I've been in the Olympics. I've won belts in multiple mixed martial arts organizations. And quite frankly, I am impressed that you've you deluded yourself into thinking you are actually a fighter. That you are really tough. That you can really box. It's quite impressive that beating up another YouTuber and beating up a boxer who looked like he'd never been in the ring before makes you somehow good at boxing. Because it doesn't. So yes, Jake, I accept. I will see you March 28th in Los Angeles. And I will humble you like millions of people. Obviously, I work with Duke on Tuesdays, but I want to get a little extra time in. Duke's really busy, so um, Mike spent some I work with for a while on team and the sport. So we'll be working out two extra mid sessions a week to get my hands moving. fast, he was aggressive, he was strong, um, he, he dotted every I, crossed every T, he knew where to be at every situation and that's what's special about Ben, he's such, while well, everyone else is playing checkers, he's playing chess, he knows where to be to get done what he wants to get done, he's going to get a hold. <laughs> Keep the pressure on to break them.
That's great. Good? Awesome, man. All right. Thanks.